Good morning, world. Today is Wednesday. I'm waiting on Jaime right now. He's coming to pick me up. We have a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, there's a lot of stuff obviously going on with the print shop and the tattoo shop you saw in yesterday's vlog. I'm gonna take you guys down to a new print shop that we started working with once the, uh, recently the support has been just like overwhelming. So in order to get shipping done, uh, customer service done, answer emails, production, uh, timelines, all these things that take a lot of people to do. I, I couldn't do all this by myself. So we're gonna do today is go down and check out Superior, who's been helping us with some recent drop. Uh, we still print a lot of the stuff that we're doing, but we're working with these guys too, behind the scenes, I guess. So um, I'm also gonna go pick up some salads and some weed, because I gotta draw basically all day long. I have a ton of stuff that I need to draw for. So um, yeah, see what the day brings. Big Black Knight? Yeah, that was that crazy. That shit's crazy. That, that was sucks. Super crazy. Rest in peace, Big Black. Oh, yeah. That dude was awesome. He was mad young, too. He was. It's like 45. Smoke one for Big Black today. I'm gonna go pick up some weed. Smoke since you got back? Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, yeah. I smoked for like 15 minutes after I landed. <laughs> Teams kid and like yeah, it's gotta be someone that wants to learn the craft or yeah, the work. yeah. If they're not I, gaining any knowledge from it, they're not gonna want to do it. Totally. And I was like, yeah. hey man, can you just bust this? I'm really easy going. Yeah. Like, Dude, you can finish this up. And he's like, oh, I was gonna go hiking with my friend. I was like, go hiking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Never yeah. Came yeah. Back. Was yeah. Like, hey. Yeah, that's funny. But it'd be good to find someone. What's that? He said, if you live in Denver and you want a sticker job, that's your guy right there. Be motivated. <laughs> we only have motivated people on our teams. I don't see the dispensary, but I know. I don't know where they are talking about it. Is he talking about right there? I don't oh, yeah, it's probably right there. Oh, uh, well, yeah, it sucks, but we'll see if anyone's coming down. Ooh. I'm just gonna turn it. Do it. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Yeah! yeah. Breaking the motherfucking law. Let's see, let's go. I can't take the camera in here. We ain't got this salad. <laughs> I haven't seen the bank yet. Oh, it's fucking ghetto. I picked the worst shit. Yeah, look at those shoes! Nice shirt. Thanks, fam. We're about to drop these. I feel like we should keep it friends and family only. Oh, yeah? Is that, <laughs> that that was, yeah. We're not gonna print them like that, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be a different shirt. I think I just... Doobie. Alright, so back. Uh, it is a rainy, rainy day. I, like, destroyed my shoes today. The sink is just like going crazy right now. Okay, so maybe we'll do another cleaning video because my shoes got jacked. Like super jacked today. I'll put Superior's information in the description box. We can get in touch with them and possibly they could do your next print job for you if that's what you want to do. Uh, they've been helping me out a lot. We have had to use them for some stuff uh, just because we literally can't keep up with everything and shout out to Superior. But uh, I tried to go by the other print shop today, our print shop, to uh, get more photos of the drop for tomorrow. By the way, there's a drop tomorrow, 9 a.m. Mountain Time. That's 11 a.m. on the East Coast, 8 a.m. in the West. Uh, drop, there's some dragons, waves, uh, all kinds of different stuff is dropping. Double dragons and gold. 
White Dragon restock, new sig uh, signature restock, all kinds of stuff. Moustacheheaven.com tomorrow. Photos of everything, or video of everything, but it just started pouring down rain and um, we had too much stuff. There was too much logistic, logistic stuff going on. So I didn't have time to go by there today and I have a ton of stuff to draw. So I'm gonna have to get to work here in a little bit. But first, I did wanna show you guys the shoes that Adidas sent me a couple of weeks back, I was on the road. It may have only been a week, I don't really know. Time is kind of blurry right now. I, want, I did want to show you guys this, because it's pretty cool. <laughs> There's the box, I better look at the box. So it's got this like glass outside to it. Glass. And then this slides out. This part, I thought this was a light bulb. Like, I totally thought this was a light, which would look crazy, but I don't, it's nothing. I don't think. These XR1s, some people are calling them the zebras. I don't know if that's officially what it's called. But. Looks like this, and this was sent by Adidas because they were doing, uh, they did a gallery show basically. Well, how do I explain this properly? So they invited a bunch of photographers, well-known photographers, guys that shoot some of their product shots, do their social media stuff. One good friend of mine who we've mentioned before, uh, Media Kraken, uh, was involved. So they, they gave them shoes to go shoot, and then the following day, I believe, had a gallery show, which you could RSVP to the gallery show and come see all the photographs of you know, everything, you know, the fruits of their labor. You could see their work. Uh, I wasn't able to make it to the event because I was traveling elsewhere. I wasn't really invited either, but I was just saying like I, I would have gone probably if I could have made it. Um, yeah, super cool. Thank you Adidas for sending this out. Like definitely much appreciated. I like all these special, I'm a sucker for special boxing anyway. So getting stuff like this is always super cool to me. So thank you Adidas. But um, the XR1 looks like this. And we've reviewed XR1s before, but it has been a little while. I have not copped an XR1 in a minute. My favorite XR1 is the Mastermind still. Just a little tidbit of information. So yeah, for me, XR1s are true to size. I do not size down in these like NMDs. Completely different fit because it doesn't have that sock collar on it. Uh, some people with all these PK shoes just size down. They like a really snug fit. But for me personally, XR1, I've never put on a 12 and a half, but there's no insole in this shoe. So I don't have a lot of lead way with it. So true to size is what I suggest. But then again, as I always like to say, we all got different feet. The upper looks, at first glance, like it's a white base, but to me it looks gray. It's a very, very cool gray colorway with obviously black stripes running all through it. A lot of people do not like these directional uh, wave. I call them directional, directional waves. That's what they look like to me. It looks kind of just like movement to me, like when it's like laying on your back and staring up at the stars and watching the watching the world go by. I like the way it looks. I like the whole futuristic kind of, uh, I don't know, that different look. It's just a different look. Don't worry, they're putting out some plain ones too. There's a black one coming. Um, but the PK on this is fairly stretchy. It's not crazy stretchy, it's a little thick. Definitely thicker than your like regular NMD in my opinion, but still not not crazy thick. You're not like a Pharrell. Uh, this one comes with white laces. You have your regular XR1 cage on this, mesh on the outside. This one is solid on the inside. You have your bricks. Again, like I said, no insole in these, so it's just this kind of tan colored, uh, tan colored fixed insole. You can see the boost through it. And then the back has a leather, leather heel tab with a red and white branded pull strap. Regular in the sole. And then of course, boost. Not like a must cop for most people, I don't think. I think some people really like these. Some people really don't like them. For me, I like having them. I definitely will wear them. I'm very happy that Adidas sent them to me. Uh, and actually, they got me something before I bought it, so that's cool. So I definitely uh, appreciate it. Love the shoe. I like XR1s a lot. I would like to see more XR1s with leather cages. It's my only improvement on the XR1 would be to thin down some of the cage aspects of it, but um, still a great shoe. Easier to cop for you guys out there that seem like you can never cop. Like these, these are great. So if you're looking to buy, I'm sure you can find them.
yesterday. I got so many messages and comments about yesterday with my wing and horn coming with extra laces. They definitely, I'm, I mean, I don't think I pulled this out of a different box. I can't remember. I have to go back and look at the footage, but I mean, they definitely came with one of the pairs I got yesterday. I don't foresee that I would have put them in a different box. I don't think they just sent me a pair of laces. I don't know. Mystery laces. I have no idea, but literally no one else. If you got laces with your wing and horns, tell me, because a bunch of people are saying that they didn't, but I did. So I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm.